Hey what's up guys welcome to App Tips and today we are discussing the best gallery app for stock android that's the simple gallery app now if you know that stock android comes with the google photos which is the default app but unless you're using the auto sync feature it's pretty much of no use there's not much of great features without the online sync and because now sync has been disabled like it's it counts against your quota so most of the people might not be using this so instead you can try something called simple gallery app now the top 3 things which i like about this is first of all it's ad free even with the free version and you have the sort by feature which let you sort by last to modified meaning the latest image will come first and then for example i just captured a screenshot if i capture the screenshot it will come here first if i just refresh as you can see which is a very good feature i would say and this is the reason why i use this gallery app now the third thing includes is the built in editor so if you just go ahead if you just tap this edit button if you can use the google photos as a this edit option and you get a lot of great features like you want know, to crop the image you want to rotate it you want to share it you want to add filters to it uh, again you have a lot of uh, great things like black and white and stuff so again very good now the, the, there is a paid version of the app as well and all it does is it gives you the updates with the free version won't give you and it has some of the, some of the extra features which i don't think so most of the people will use uh, for example if you want change the date and time format which is a pro feature uh, if you want the file loading priority that you can change that uh, then if you want to open videos on a separate screen with the gesture and stuff that's that's what i think even i don't use it but i just bought the pro version because it was super cheap and we get updates this is the pro version is just 30 rupees right now on play store Uh, and I got it 10 rupees at some offer day. I don't recall, but it's very good. Uh, you can change the thumbnail style as well. So you have the rounded corners out of the square, uh, which is again it's fully customizable. That's the beauty of Android. And you can basically change everything. The best part about it is, is just how light it is, how simple it is, and it has the hide feature as well. So most people actually want to hide stuff. So as you can see, visibility. Um, and, uh, so you can just click show hidden items so it will display all the hidden items in the phone that is dot something file uh, but you can also hide you can set the password as well if you if you go here in security password protect hidden item visibility password protect the whole application so again you can enable with fingerprint and just restart the app again as you can see that's the uh, that's amazing so a lot of you guys also want a hide feature where you can hide photos and videos and you can just click on the video or photo and just click hide and it will be hidden so you can just go back and you even won't find it uh, to be according to the alphabet or recently changed which is good if you want to just uh, watch it or like just reveal it you can click on temporarily show hidden and the video will be back at the same time you can even unhide it and then you can just turn off the hidden media function that's it that's simple now there's no kind of wall kind of stuff where some people need a separate section for videos and photos but you get this feature which is good also interesting feature is the recycle bin which i have turned off so move items to the recycle bin instead of deleting which i turn it on this is useful sometimes and as you can see i just delete this image and it will just move to recycle bin and recycle bin comes here mostly as you can see recycle bin and you can just restore it just like you do on your computer simple as that but i don't like it i like to delete it directly because at the same time google photos is syncing stuff so i don't want this so fully customized this customizable thing Now there are a lot of features. Probably this is three reasons why I recommend this app. In basically, all my family has the stock Android, and I've installed this in every phone. And only this phone has the pro version because that's what I use. I like the updates thing. 
other than that i think the free version is really good you should definitely try so that's pretty much for this video hope you liked it if you like this video give a thumbs up subscribe to tech show if you're not already and we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now